Today we're going to have a demo of our Lionel 154 flasher. The flasher is meant to be used with Lionel 154 crossing signals. These, there are several million of these signals in use today. Production started in the late 40s after World War II. If we look at our setup on our table, we have a power transformer over here. It feeds the power wire to our flasher unit right here. The flasher is capable of operating two different tracks and also two different 154 units. If we look at the flasher unit, most of the wires from the 154s are connected with screw type terminals. The sensor wires are on this side and we have a sensor wire running to this track as well as this track. We have a cover that goes on and with your layout you'd probably run the wires underneath the layout. The flasher unit can also be underneath your layout. If we look at our setup here, we have two tracks. These are Lionel Fast Track. We converted the Fast Track to insulated track. These sections here, from here down, and from here down are what they call insulated track. What that means is that Lionel normally has these two outside rails shorted together. To make them insulated, you cut the track here and remove the short. There's a metal strip underneath the track. You remove the shorting strip and now these two rails are independent. They're no longer connected together. Also, when the car runs on the track, the wheels will short these two rails together. It will act like a switch. So the wheel on the car will act as a switch and turn the flashing on. We also have two Thomas the Tank Engine cars, Annie and Clarabel. That will show you how they work when Clarabel rolls down this track and crosses over the insulated track section. The flasher will start and as long as the car is on this track the flashing will keep going. Likewise if we move the other car onto the insulated track section the flashing will start on this flasher. If you don't have any insulated track, you can use the original 154C contactor that came with your 154 signal light. That will work also. If you move the car back onto the regular track, the light will continue flashing for about 10 seconds and then it will stop as it did there. And likewise, if we move the other car back onto the regular track, the light will stop after about 10 seconds. The flasher unit is capable of running at least four of these 154 flasher or uh, signal lights on each section of track, so you could easily have eight of these 154s running off of one flasher.